the University of Lagos has since resumed and exams are ongoing. This was after shutting down when three students contracted COVID-19. There was fear, anxiety over how um, students, you know, were upset. They had to leave without much notice. Uh, but to talk more about the events and what is happening now in the school, uh, joining us, of course, is the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, DVC Academics and Research, University of Lagos, Professor Oluoli. Uluwole Familoni, he joins us here in the studio. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you very much for having me. All right, I'd like to begin with, um, I mean, what we saw um, shutting down abruptly. Um, was that the best decision at the time? Thank you very much. Uh, when this case of uh, COVID-19 was uh, discovered by the university, we, we tried to curtail it by trying to ask the student to hibernate. But the number of students going to the internet was enormous. And some students have started thinking that the university management was uh, trying to cover it up. Whereas we are not doing anything like that. We are trying to see the best way to do it orderly so that they can go without any trouble. But when the number of uh, internet uh, uh, work on, the, I mean, people are talking about it a lot, and we thought that we should take the right decision. We took it to the Senate of the University, and you know we have a, we have a lot of doctors in, in the, the loot, and we, it was discovered very robust, and uh, we decided that the best thing for us is to ask them to, to go home and then isolate in their homes, because the number, like you have said, is very few. But the, the, when people are in, the, in one room, then everybody in that room will be subjected to At that. Risk. That's why we said to prevent it from further increasing, the best thing for them is to go home after seeing the pros and cons. But even the NCDC, uh, the Nigeria Centre for Disease Control, said that they were not happy with the way the University of Lagos handled it. Um, I mean, in their guidelines, they talk about when there's an outbreak, there should be a committee in school, and this is to drive surveillance and the response, and perhaps everybody should have tested uh, before, you know, asking students and staff to leave uh, the premises. The only students were asked to leave the premises. Uh, we, we tested them and uh, we, we told them that the, 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 it's not as severe as, it, as it, people are making it to be. It is just hyping it that was the situation. NCDC were not happy with us before. But when we told them the situation, that whether they would prefer that 10 students of the University of Lagos drop dead, whether they would prefer that. And from the letter they wrote to us recently, they have shown, they told us that they were happy with our, the way we, what the action we took. And they find that when, when they got the information that we have, then they were sure, they, they said it, what we did was okay and not uh, as bad as what they thought. You no, know, if you depend on uh, social media, you can go to take a wrong decision. So let's fast forward to okay. now. Um, school is open, exams are ongoing. Right. If there's an outbreak today, is the University of Lagos ready for it? Yeah, before, before we resumed, we had contact with NCDC, Lagos State University, or Lagos State um, Government, and LUT. Before we were able to resume, we had assurances of LUT, our university hospital, and uh, the Lagos State assured us of Bagada uh, General Hospital as the hospital that they can give to us in case of any eventualities, which we are not, which we are not praying for. So in terms of the, the COVID-19 response committee in place, is there one in place? Oh, of course. One has been in place since the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, we have several committees of different types for on, on, uh, online teaching. That's one. COVID-19 response uh, committee and uh, any, other, any other thing that could have come up, we are more than ready. And we have taken a lot of act, act, uh, actions to make sure that Nobody is going to the going to the halls of residence without uh, masking up. We ask each student to bring minimum of 500 mil um, sanitizer, about minimum of 10 face masks. They are going to be in school for about just about 10 days. So 
We hope that if they use one per week, per day, and uh, that should be sufficient. So there will be monitoring of the non-pharmaceutical um, protocols yes, on that campus. Yes, that's the cheapest way to, to, to send yourself away from uh, COVID-19. Looking at what happened, and this is before, uh, you know, during the shutdown, before shutting down, do you think that students were adamant to the non-pharmaceutical interventions? Um, maybe they were, but you, if you saw the way they, when you were asked to go home, everybody was wearing his or her mask, and they knew that it's a serious matter. Coming back, everybody's taking all the best, all their best action to make sure that they put on their mask. And the security men, porters, lecturers, all of them have been tutored that they should not allow people to enter without putting on their mask because that's about the best way to do. And if anybody is coming to an exam room, we have to we ask each person to sanitize, not their own. The school provides sanitizers. If not, they may not be able to afford that. Finally, in terms of vaccination, which is ongoing across the country, is that taking place? Uh, is there a site in the University of Lagos? Yes, we have a very big hall called Yeli Lomotola Hall. We have vaccination going on there for our students, for our staff, who may have not taken vaccination. Before this, a lot of our staff have taken the vaccination, and currently it is ongoing. Uh, depending if you have taken uh, Astra Mansa before, you, there is, and the new one is also available. So, well, whatsoever Janet. type you want, we have a seal of Lagos State Government. All right. We wish, um, of course, the University of Lagos the best in all that you do. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Deputy Vice Chancellor, DBC Academics and Research, University of Lagos, Professor Luoli Familoni, thanks again. Thank you very much for having me.